exciting stuff going on. So I did bring in my um, sunflowers and my sunflowers are sprouts. They're real plants now. So this is really exciting. So for those of you that planted on the same day as I did, the Monday after spring break, this is probably about how big your plants are. If you planted a little bit earlier than that, your plants might be a little bit taller. Fiona's are good and tall, but nice and healthy. That is fantastic. All right, very, very nice. Very nice. Ooh, good, Miriam's got some good sunflowers there. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's say good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, good morning and happy Earth Day. I'm going to mute everybody because I want to share some really exciting things. Good morning. I want to share some really exciting things. So if you planted the same day as I did, you should have some nice plants by now. Some little plants and some of you planted a little bit earlier. Kales are getting pretty big. So once they start getting about that big and Morgans are pretty big as well. So once they start getting that big, it's time to put them in a bigger container or put them in the ground so they can grow um, taller than you. The Vons are about just like mine right now and my, I still have a little sunflower seed right up there as well. So very nice, Ava. Ava's are getting pretty tall. So if yours are getting pretty tall, it's going to be time soon to put them in a larger container or plant them in the ground. Now I wanna share something else with you. I'm going to be really, really careful, but give me your eyes. Let me go get them. I'm gonna be, I'm just being slow boys and girls because I wanna be really, really careful. I don't want to make anything fall. There all hanging look at this they're all hanging and we have two chrysalises at the moment so two have already formed a chrysalis and the rest the other three are forming their J's so I'm gonna just slowly rotate this container now you might see that they're shaking they actually shake on their own because once they detect that they are moving, they'll start shaking. That's part of their defense mechanism to scare off anything that might want to eat them. So they're actually shaking on their own. Chrysalises have the ability to shake like crazy. And you might see that and say, oh my goodness, they're shaking. But they do that just to scare off birds or other things that might say, hmm, that's a tasty little snack. So I'm just rotating this. And you might also notice we have lots and lots and lots of frass, lots and lots and lots of frass and lots and lots and lots of shedded skin. We even have quite a bit of um, silk that was spun inside. I'll put some pictures up of our caterpillars and chrysalises today. And today we're gonna start counting down how long will it take for them to actually change into butterflies. We know it takes about 10 days to two weeks. So we shall see. I'm gonna put these down carefully right over here. All right, there we go. And we're missing quite a few kids this morning and I'm not quite sure why I'm gonna have to figure out who is missing, but I have something special for us today to get started with. I do have a special Earth Day song, but I see Miriam over there with her hand up. Yes, Miriam. What's up, honey? 
What? Is it? That is super exciting. April's a popular month for birthdays. Yes, Morgan. Oh, well, it's not going to let you in until I start the meeting. So it doesn't just let you in. If you click on it early, I actually have to start the meeting before it lets you in. That might be what happens. I checked both links this morning because I wanted to make sure and I'm almost positive they were both the same, but I'll double check and make sure. I'll double check and make sure. Yes, Avery. All right. Very nice. It is so exciting to get some sunflower sprouts. That is wonderful. This summer, you're gonna have some really tall sunflowers growing at your house. That is awesome. Yes, Sandina. Earth Day. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. Wait. These tiny, tiny, they fill a lot of planets. You can take a close-up and look. Oh, that is wonderful. That is all the and planets. These small, small dots are the stars, the golden dots. I love it. That is fantastic. And they're just the different colors, and they're not the same color as the Earth, but it has to it has like um, Saturn, the, the planet, the planet, the ring, and it's in that sphere, right? It actually um, has all the planets. Fantastic. Yeah, it's even outside. Oh, I love it. We're going to learn more sky. about planets. Yeah, I'm going to fly, and I can't wait for tomorrow because of the sticker project. My friend had one for like singing cat. Patrick's Day, like a leprechaun and a rainbow, and so, 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 so much points. It has like an S kind of thing. That's great. All right, let me give Xerxes a chance to talk, and then we're going to have to pause for a moment and do a little Earth Day song. Yes, Xerxes. I have a solar system in my room. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Where? Where I sleep. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I saw Aaron. He had his hand up for a long, long time. Very quickly, Aaron. So you plants? Yes, yes. I saw that they were nice and tall. Beautiful. I'm so excited for you and I'm so excited for everyone who has sprouted some sunflowers already. Ava, I know you're so patient. Yes, Ava. All right, yours were nice and tall. Fantastic. You'll have to get those in a bigger pot or in the ground pretty soon. Okay, Ava. And then they will grow, grow, grow for you. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, boys and girls, I want you to put your eyes right on over here. Get ready to sing along. Here we go. We're going green. We're going green. We're gonna take care of the earth. We're going green. You can go green at your home or school. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce. Be careful how long you take a shower. You don't need to stand there for 70 hours. Turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth. And only use the necessary energy. Turn off the lights when they're not in use. Think how much electricity you produce. Take quick drinks. Walk to school. Reducing energy is really cool. Turn off the computer every now and then. Throw away litter, pick up 
pick up trash and you will save the earth in a flash. We're going green. We're going green. We're going to take care of the earth. We're going green. You can go green at your home or school. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. and we've learned a lot about those this week. Now, to get us started today, I have a really special book to read to you. This is called, Why Should I Recycle? Why should, why should you recycle? What good does that do? So let's take a look right here. And I'm still gonna have to take a look and figure out who is not here today. Just a moment, I'm trying to, I figured out a couple, but there might be someone I haven't figured out yet. All right, all right, eyes right over here. This is called, Why Should I Recycle? By, um, illustrated by Mike Gordon and written by Jen Green. All right. In my family, we recycle our garbage. We return things so they can be used again. And here's a really big recycling container and it takes glass bottles and they're putting all kinds of things, this family, into that container. We didn't always recycle. We used to throw everything away. Look at that, their garbage can is so, so full. It's overflowing so tall. On our way to school, we always pass Mr. Jones's house. Mr. Jones is our teacher. One day we saw him putting a special box with cans, bottles and papers by the gate. What are you doing? This box is for recycling. All these things are taken away and used again, said Mr. Jones. What's recycling? I'll explain at school. In class, Mr. Jones asked what we did with our trash. We put trash in the garbage can. It's just old garbage. Mr. Jones said garbage contained lots of useful things that can be recycled or used again. Why should I recycle? Mr. Jones took the class to a recycling center. It had separate containers for bottles, cans, plastic, clothes, and paper. What do you think happens to all the glass that goes in here? Asked Mr. Jones. What's gonna happen to all that glass? Let's take a look. It all gets broken down to make shiny new bottles. 
And guess what happens to all the cans that go in here? Asked Mr. Jones. What's gonna happen with all those cans? They get melted down to make new metal things, such as bikes and scooters. Wow. And what about the paper and plastic that goes in here and here? Asked Mr. Jones. So there's a lot of plastic. Look at all those milk jugs. And here's lots and lots and lots of paper. We use lots of paper at school. The paper gets shredded and used to make new books and comics. All these things come from garbage we just throw away? This plastic can be used to make all kinds of things, including clothes. You might be wearing some, said Mr. Jones. So why waste waste? Did you know even recycled plastic can be used to make clothes? How amazing. Most of the garbage we put in the trash can get, the trash can gets buried in dumps that spoil the countryside. It's good to recycle as much as you can, said Mr. Jones. And here's a garbage truck and it's dumping the garbage into a giant hole in the ground. Did you know that's where your garbage goes? I have a picture to show you here in just a minute. So what else can we recycle? She's plugging her nose because the garbage dump stinks. It's super stinky. Clothes, books, and toys that you don't want can all be taken to the secondhand store, explained Mr. Jones. The food we buy at supermarkets comes in packages that can often be used again. Don't waste waste, Mom. Look at this, they turned one of their old milk jugs into a planter. Wow, maybe you could even plant your sunflower in an old milk jug. I told mom and dad about our trip to the recycling center. Now we buy recycled things at the store. Recycled paper helps to save trees. We always recycle the plastic bags too. We brought our own bags, thanks. They brought their own bags to, to the um, grocery store. We also recycle everything at home. Fruit and vegetable peelings get recycled on our new compost heap. The compost helps my mom's prize vegetables to grow. So you can take things like, um, like potato peelings or chopped up bits of carrot seed and you can put that in the green bin or your compost pile. Now we recycle so much garbage, there's hardly any left to put in the can. Recycling is kind to nature, it saves money, and it's fun. All right, so that is definitely some different ways that you can recycle to help take care of the earth. But what happens to all the garbage if you don't recycle it? It says too much trash. When you throw something away, where does it go? Okay, this is pretty amazing. It says trash doesn't disappear. So it says first the trash goes out in the can. Okay, so we know about trash cans where we live. Next, the trash goes into the back of a garbage truck. So there's the garbage truck. Guess where the garbage truck goes? Look at that. Next, last, the truck takes the trash to a landfill. Stinky garbage, it just gets dumped. Do you see how much garbage that is? Yuck, right? So how many of those things maybe didn't need to go to the garbage dump? Is there anything in there that could have been recycled instead? I wonder, I bet there's at least some, but this is what happens to garbage that goes in the garbage can. It gets dumped in a giant pile. That's pretty gross, right? So we want less of this, don't we? Anybody wanna live on a garbage pile? Yuck, right? That is one of the big reasons why it is so, so important to recycle. Because if you throw something in the garbage, it doesn't magically disappear. It goes in a giant garbage pile. So let's read about some things. Dominic, will you put that away, honey, and take out this book? 
caring for earth let's read about things that we can do today on earth day and every day to help take care of our earth i love it sasha colored her so beautifully and boys and girls this book is yours i'm giving it to you i want you to keep it keep it at home to read it Keep it at home so you can read it, but we are going to read it together right now. So go ahead, take it out. Let me warm everything up over here. Turn everything on. Give me just a moment. And I'm still trying to figure out who's not here. All right. All right, boys and girls, so thumbs up if you're ready to read. You've got Caring for Earth. Good, good, good. Dominic, you got Caring for Earth right there, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful. Sreshta, you ready to read, honey? Ready to read? Maybe. All right, boys and girls, let's put our finger under the title. Read with me. Ready? Caring for Earth. Finger under the first word, ready? We can help, we can care by picking up litter everywhere. All right, turn the page. Now I'm on the recycling page. Finger under the first word, ready, read. We can help, read with me, Ira. We can care by recycling everywhere. All right, I'm turning the page. Here I go, my finger's right here under the first word. Ready, read. We can help, we can care by saving energy everywhere. All right. Turn to the next page. Saman, will you turn your camera on, honey? I'd love to see ya. There's Saman, thanks, buddy. All right, now I'm on the tree planting page. Here we go, read with me, ready? We can help, read with me, Miriam. We can care by planting trees everywhere. Now, save water. Put your finger under the first word, hop it with me, ready? We can help, we can care by saving water everywhere. I'm gonna turn to my next page, finger under the first word. Dominic, I wanna see that you're actually reading, honey. So put your finger under the first word because this is reading time and everyone's job is to practice, practice, practice. Here we go, ready? We can help, we can care by walking and biking everywhere. All right, boys and girls. And I want you to continue to practice reading this book we are going to slide it away for now, but I want you to read it later today. And I want you to go ahead and take out your poetry journal and this highlighter or a yellow marker or anything that you have. We're getting to our journal in a moment but this is our poetry journal so i'm going to open it up i'm on my caterpillar page so i want everybody to open it up to the caterpillar page and just like we did last time we are going to be looking for the rhyming words on this poem today. We're also going to practice reading it together. Dominic, I want you to slide that away, honey. We're not gonna play with toys right now. We're just going to be reading, okay? 
I want you to use your reading finger, read with me. Some of these words might feel tricky. That's okay. It makes me smarter to read words that are tricky. We're just on the second poem, and at the top it says, the caterpillar. All right, put your finger under the first word, under the first word, and remember, not only are we looking at the letters and making the sounds, we're also thinking about the words that rhyme. Here we go, ready? The caterpillar, furry caterpillar, crawling on the ground, crawl along so quietly without a sound. Spin your cocoon so carefully, then rest a while and soon you'll be a pretty butterfly to see a pretty butterfly. All right, this is a big one. We're going to read it again. Put your finger under the title. So everybody park your finger right there. Thumbs up when you're done parking your finger under the title. I'm done parking my finger under the title. My finger is there. I'm waiting for Sreshta to show me her thumbs up that she's ready to read with us. Thank you, Dominic. And Dominic, I want you to work really hard. Say, I can do it. I can follow along. All right, so here is my finger. Beautiful. Read with me. Ready? The caterpillar. Furry caterpillar crawling on the ground. Crawl along so quietly without a sound. Spin your cocoon so carefully, then rest a while and soon you'll be a pretty butterfly to see. A pretty butterfly. All right, we've got some rhyming words here. Two on the top and two on the bottom. I see them, they even end the same. Thumbs up if you think you found the two rhyming words at the top. Hey, Xerxes, our soon-to-be birthday boy, you wanna share with us what the two rhyming words are? Oh, you're still muted, sweetie. Now I'm looking at it. Okay, he's looking at it right now, so let me call in another friend who thinks they found some rhyming words on the top here. Fiona, did you find two words that rhyme up here? Fiona, did you find two words that rhyme? Will you unmute and tell us what they are? Ground and sand. That's right, she's absolutely right. Right here we see ground, and right here we see sound. Ground, sound, those are words that rhyme. I'm gonna color them nice and bright. Hello, rhyming words. Ground, sound round and sound. Now on the bottom part of our poem, our rhyming words are sight words. So here we go. This is easy peasy stuff that our rhyming words are sight words down here. So let's take a look here and Xerxes this time tell us what are the rhyming words on the bottom? I think so and soon, maybe that. You're super close, except do they actually end the same? Not quite end the same. So let's take a look. Spin your cocoon so carefully, then rest a while, and soon you'll be a pretty butterfly to see. Hmm, rhyming words there. 
What are my rhyming words there? Sreshta, any idea? What are my rhyming words on the bottom part? You got it. That was wonderful. She found it. C, B, B, C. So here I go. Soon you'll be a pretty butterfly to see. C, B. Those are my rhyming words. Good job, boys and girls. And I know lots of you are thinking to figure that out. Yes, Rush, uh, yes, Sandana. Oh, you know what? Don't worry, because that is what we do when we learn. It is okay. You know exactly which words are the rhyming words, Sundana, so it's not something you need to worry about. And it's such a fun poem. You can just read it again and still enjoy it. So do not worry about that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm going to slide this away. And now I'm going to pull out my April kindergarten journal. Here it is, my April kindergarten journal. You're going to have another April kindergarten journal next week, which is the last week of April. And then we're gonna have a May kindergarten journal. It's gonna be fun. I love it. Lots of you are doing such a great job in this. Fantastic, thanks for sharing it with me, Avery. I can't wait to see what you've done. So I'm gonna turn the pages. I'm opening to my next blank page which is one of my favorites right here. It says at the top, my favorite baby animal. My favorite baby animal. So I want you thinking right now about baby animals. Where's my baby animal book? I had my baby animal book. I might have hit it. Got my baby animal book. Where'd you go, baby animal book? Hold on, boys and girls. I had it just a moment ago. Uh, I hid my baby animals. Sorry, boys and girls, I pulled out my baby animal book and then I lost it. It's here somewhere, okay? While we're writing, while we're writing, I'll go grab it. It's here, I just had it in my hand and then I set it down. All right, so let's think about some baby animals. Baby animals are animals like kittens, puppies, piglets, calves, a calf is a baby cow, a foal is a baby horse. Sometimes you also know the word pony. Pony might be a smaller horse. So I want you thinking, nice find, Miriam. I want you thinking about your favorite baby animal. So you might write something like, my favorite baby animal is a puppy or my favorite baby animal is a kitten. I think some of you have some ideas. Samira, help us out here. What is your favorite baby animal? My favorite baby animal is a puppy. Perfect. Avery so is so cute, right? So cute. Hardly, hardly um, can find something cuter than a puppy, right? Avery, what is your favorite baby animal? A baby chick. Ah, chick, so cute also. Um, let's see here. Sasha, what is your favorite baby animal? My favorite baby animals. I have so many favorite baby animals. Why not? Uh, I like um, cat, kittens, chicken, I mean kittens and baby chicks and puppies and piglets. Lambs? Yeah. Anybody like lambs? Yeah. Lamb? Yeah. So sweet. Yeah. I like lambs. And I also like one more. Um, what is that? Okay, that's a pretty good list. So some of you still want to share and that's fine. Let me get everybody started on their writing. So we are going to use this as the beginning of our sentence. So all I'm going to do is be, 
begin copying my favorite baby animal. So my, and I'm just copying the words, except I'm changing my first letters to lowercase letters for my last three words, my, the only capital letter is my M, so my favorite, favorite baby, my favorite baby animal, my favorite baby animal is, and then you tell me what your favorite baby animal is. My favorite baby animal is, Ava, did you want to share with us your favorite baby animal? I thought you saw like, two things. Um, baby sloths and turtles. Baby sloths and baby turtles? Sounds yeah. lovely. Perfect, thank you, Ava. Ava loves sloths. This I know. Yes, Xerxes. I, my favorite baby animal is a cat, is uh, a kitten. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Xerxes. Ko, tell us yours. It's pangolin. Um, the penguin doesn't have any. Um, the penguin has scales, not the penguin. That I know exactly a pangolin. Peng pangolin. Pangolin. Do you know where a pangolin lives? I think it's in a spin. It lives in um, lots of parts of Asia. We live in China, and honestly. I know they live in China. I think they live in every country except Antarctic. Maybe continent, every continent except North America and South America and the North Pole. Interesting. They they very well might. They very well might. I love it. And do you know how to spell pangolin? So that one's not too tricky to sound out. So pang, <clears throat> P-A-N-G. Olin, O-L-I-N. It's really spelled just how it sounds. Pangolin. Yes, Viban. Tell you my sentence. Yes. My favorite baby animal is a pup. Very nice. Do you have a specific? Yeah, I want to get one. You do. Of yeah. course you do. Who wouldn't? My dad doesn't let me get one. <laughs> Maybe not yet. Maybe when you get a little bit bigger. They're a lot of responsibility, especially if you get a puppy. It's like having a baby. I can take care of it. My dad can take out the poop. I can feed it and give it a bath. Sounds, sounds like you have a pretty good plan going. Fantastic. Ah, very nice, Avery. Very nice. Some of you might say that my favorite baby animal is a bunny. Very nice. All right. Um, stay with me, Vivon. Don't hang up yet. Stay with me, okay? Yes, Miriam. That's okay. Don't worry, Vivon. What is your favorite baby animal, Miriam? Um, it's a harpsial pup, and I also have a book that makes me learn about the harps here. That is wonderful. I am so happy to hear that. And harp seals are amazing creatures, aren't they? That is awesome. Yes, Samira, tell us your favorite baby animal. I need my new my friend. I would love to hear it. My favorite baby animal is a puppy. And so, first of all, I do so I just listened to a, a little old man, but now I do 
It's very, the body is very tiny. Yeah, oh, it sounds perfect. It's very, like, a little bit long, and then it's like showing. Sounds perfect. I love it. Good job, Samira. My stair hang up. Say that again, Samira. My stair hang up. Please. But I have something to tell you. Uh, do I have a um, PE class today? Yes, you are going to have PE. We just don't have afternoon class. So you will have PE today, but we just don't have afternoon class. And boys and girls, and let me just say just a little bit about it. I know our schedule lately has been very different. It has been. Um, and it's going to be that way next week too. Next week, half of you are going to come to school and see me. As a matter of fact, we have a day on Tuesday. Those of you that signed up, Dominic, you're on my list. I have my list right here. Those of you that signed up to return to school are gonna come see me next week. That's Fiona, Ava, Erin, Skyler, Miriam, Simon, Langston, Vivon, Xerxes, Dominic, Ira, and Mahilani. All of you get to come to school next week. The rest of you are going to see me online just like we do right now. The kids that are gonna stay in distance learning, we call this distance learning, those kids are Avery, Samira, Sasha, Brandon Ace, Brandon N, Noah, Ko, Sundana, Arjun, Sreshta, and Morgan. All of you signed up to stay online with me, but our online time is going to change to math meeting time. So our online time is gonna to change to math meeting time. You won't be online with me in the mornings Tuesday through Friday because I'll be with students in the classroom. So you'll have all your videos to do. We'll talk more about it. You'll have all your videos to do and everything. You'll have PE in the morning still, but you'll see me at math meeting time and we'll stay online for a long time. So there, there's gonna be a little bit of a change, but it's gonna be good and it's gonna be a positive thing and you won't be getting off and getting on and getting off and getting on. You won't do that anymore, those of you that are staying with me. And Mondays are gonna stay the same. We still have a whole class um, morning meeting on Mondays at 8.30. So that's gonna stay the same for us, okay? So we'll talk about it, but things are changing and, and quite a few of you are gonna come to the classroom with me and we haven't been having afternoon meetings because teachers are having lots of meetings and getting ready to have kids come back to campus. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see some of you in class. And then when you go to first grade, everyone's gonna be back at school when you go to first grade. So in August, when first grade starts, you will be at school, okay? That's just what's gonna happen. But some of you will see me next week. Dominic's excited. Dominic, you excited? You excited, Vivani, you excited? Yeah. Miriam's excited to come to school? Good, good, all right. All right, we're gonna have- Should I stay or hang up? You stay, don't hang up yet. Don't hang up yet. I want you to stay with me for a moment. I know we've been talking and talking and talking. I want you to stay with me for a moment, okay? I've already added a lot of videos for today. I'm going to add a couple more videos. I want you to make sure you watch all the videos because there's so much learning that's happening right now because you all are very, very close to being first graders. Are you excited about that? I'm excited about that. You know so much. You're readers now, you're writers now. You can add and subtract and count to 100 and bigger. There's lots and lots of stuff that you can do. So I want you to make sure that you are just continuing to do your best, watch all those videos, and do all the work that Mrs. Light asks. That doesn't mean like, Oh, I don't feel like doing that. Oh, Mrs. Lai wants me to write my words, but I don't feel like doing it. No, you do everything because you are so smart and you're not even really a kindergartner anymore. Now you're just a, getting ready for first grader. And so that's just a big thing for you, okay? So we're gonna keep doing all those big kid things, keep getting ready for first grade, and I will keep getting ready to see some of you on, as a matter of fact, you get to come see me for a trial run on Tuesday. So I'm gonna, send a message to your parents about that. So some of you still wanna to talk to me, we can hang out for a little bit. Otherwise, I'm gonna let you go so you can get on with your work today. So boys and girls, we can say goodbye, but if you wanna to talk to me, or if you want some help from me, I'm staying, okay? Uh, that 
Thank you, Mrs. I am. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Happy Earth Day. See you tomorrow. Stay with me if you want to talk to me. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Yes, Vivan. Simone, that's a tomorrow project. Can I tell you three things? Yes. First is, this is my game. I love uh, it. Bye, this, Dominic. This is a club show. See you next week and tomorrow. Sounds good, Dominic. I love it. I know you'll take good care. When you get a puppy, Vivon, you'll take good care of it. I know. And also, uh, what was my exciting thing? You're excited to come to school? Oh, yeah. yeah. And also, I'm almost a first grader, and I can't wait until first grade. I can't wait either. You are ready. For and we sure. went to school in person, everyone in first grade? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That is, it's going to be awesome. Bye, Bye Vivon. Yes, this Noah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, buddy. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Bye, honey. Yes, Noah. Go ahead and unmute, sweetie. My favorite Fantastic, and you've got your very own puppy at home. You are a lucky, lucky guy, Noah. That is wonderful. See you tomorrow, Noah. Yes, Aaron. Good job, Langston. Erin, are you excited to come to school? I'm excited for you to come to school. I can't wait till you come to our classroom. For real. Like to do things on my on my inside school. Me too. We're gonna have so much fun. You get to play with all the stuff we have here and read all my books. I have pencil boxes for you. I have other special things for you. I have a desk ready for you. It says Aaron on it, so it's yours. I'll send pictures. Pretty soon I'm gonna send pictures of the classroom and what it looks like and that it's ready for you so you can see. Sound good? We're gonna have fun. Uh, also, can I tell you my story? Yes. So cute. Good work, buddy. Ira, are you excited to come to school? Are you excited to come next week? She's looking for her unmute button. Yes, Sandina. She's looking for her unmute button. She wants to. So, Ira, are you excited to come to school? Yeah. Good. I'm so glad. I can't wait to see you. I get to see you on Tuesday, okay? You can come Bye. into room seven on Tuesday. That's going to be awesome. All right, Sandina. Go ahead, honey. Mrs. Fly, how do you spell koala? Ooh, ko is K O. And then Allah is just A-L-A. -A. Ko, Allah. It sounds just like it's spelled. Okay, Mrs. Sly. Ko. Yes, Sasha. How do you draw a bunny? Ooh. You mean not a bee bunny? Like a regular bunny? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the tortoise and me. Mm, okay. Sort of like that. Can I go get my, my animal drawing book real quick? Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. Look at this book. How to draw pets. Mm -hmm. So let me make you bigger. Oh my goodness. There's a monkey in this book. What? Who has a pet monkey? I want to know who has a pet monkey. I do not have a pet monkey. I don't have any pets. But I still like bunnies. Okay, so this is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide. I just have to find the bunny page. Hang on just a sec. Hey. Found it. Mm, but monkeys are wild animals. They are. Okay, so what? Bye, Mrs. Sly. Bye, Sundana. So what this is telling you, you're gonna start with this oval type of a face like this, and then attach the body to it. And after you start with with the oval type face and attach the body to it, then you're gonna add the fluffy ears like this. I know you're good, so I can just tell you what to do and you'll be able to do it. Got okay. it. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna add one lump. This is like the knee of the bunny, and then you're gonna hook it around to make its hind leg. Hook it around. Got it. Okay, and now you're gonna draw not quite a completed oval, but almost like a little oval for this front leg and then a hook right here, like a sideways U for that front leg. Yeah, that's kind of curved. Um, and then kind of U here. It's kind of messy. Don't don't worry, don't worry. You're something getting, small, something's big. You're, you're getting Sorry, the sorry. shapes down, Sasha. So now what you want... Wait, give me a minute. Okay. It's a recent thing. Maybe if I do it a little back here. Stretch to what's your favorite baby animal, honey? Go ahead and unmute and tell us, Shasta. What's your favorite baby animal? Okay. Oh, there's Shasta. A fish. Oh, very nice. Did you draw a picture of your fish that you would like to share? Very nice. I love it. Great work. Uh, Mrs. Sly? Yes. So, uh, is the uh, class going to be one hour or more than that? I, I'm confused because the schedule says something else. Okay, so are you talking about this morning's class? This morning's class is just now. Just now. So we're going to be ending and everything else for today is going to be videos. Okay, okay. Because I think uh, the schedule that was sent says uh, it will be two hour class or something like that. So I was confused uh, uh, what that schedule is and how it works. Okay, okay. So I think you're talking about next week when our schedule actually changes and and we start having kids in the morning. So I'm going to send out more information about that, but the schedule is going to be about 1230 to 230 um for starting next week on thursday so that won't start until thursday of next week but i'll send plenty of information i'll make it really clear and i'll put the schedule up um i'm also going to be starting new reading groups so so what's going to happen is kids are going to log on and it's going to be like our normal math time and they're just going to stay on with me because in the morning okay. I'm going to have kids in the classroom so I won't be on at that time. But in the okay. afternoon they'll just log on at 1230 and they're going to stay on with me and we're going to do morning meeting, math meeting and the reading groups all together so they won't log off until they're done. They'll still, okay. they'll still have the videos for the morning. So all the videos will be posted. PE will still be in the morning. So they'll have a chunk of work to do in the morning and then they'll be on with me in the afternoon. Okay, okay. And will, will it still be uh, all weekdays or will it be uh, alternate days? Or? Tuesday through Friday will follow that schedule. Monday okay. is still whole class online in the morning. So okay. Mondays, nobody's coming to school. We just have our regular morning meeting at 8.30 on Mondays. And then Tuesday through Friday is that alternate awesome. schedule. Yeah. Okay, okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll uh, wait for more information. There, I'm gonna send it out today. And I'm also going to have 
something detailed out that's gonna be in her folder to go home tomorrow. So everyone can just take it out. You can look at it, you can hang it up on your fridge. So, cause I know yeah, this yeah. is gonna be really new for everybody. So. Yeah, yeah, we will do that, we will do that. Thank you. And Sreshta wants to say something. Yes, Sreshta. No, you have to say that. Whatever you told me. Chippu. I will not turn off camera again. I am so glad to hear that, Sreshta. Thank you for telling me. Because I know you're such a big girl and I know how much you love school and how smart you are. So I love it when you're with us and we're going to continue to have so much fun at school because I know you have fun. Thank you, Thank you Sreshta. You, All right, my dear. Well, how about this? Sasha, if you're done with your bunny, We'll go ahead and end the meeting. I'm done. I'm You're I'm all done. All done. done. You're not done with your bunny? Okay. All right. Did you get it? You're walking the way. Oh, sorry, Sasha. Sorry, Sasha. Here so you I go. I cannot copy the steps. Okay. okay Bye, Mrs. Bye, Sreshta. Then do the one, two, three, four, five, six, and after that, we have to do the whiskers and the one eye. How do you do the whiskers? One, two, two. Connect them kind of. Uh, okay, got it. No, that's not right. Okay. Can I see it? Okay, it's kind of messy because I tried to draw the first hand. That's I'm okay. Ready. Oh, that is super cute. No, you did fantastic. That's great. Mm -hmm. And the bottle. I love it. Good job. Did I put some carrots? Yeah. Any, any greens. Any greens will be good. And carrots. I would just want carrots. A 